Twelve years ago, nearly 3,000 innocent people lost their lives in the terrorist attacks on September 11th. While most Americans can remember where they were when the attacks happened, few were close enough to experience the chaos of that day. Captain James Garrett was one of those few. A good friend of mine was leaving a voice message, and I could tell by the tone of his voice that something grave had happened, and he said, turn on your television. So I turned it on, and shortly thereafter is when the towers came uh, crumbling down. I ran outside after seeing that and could see the smoke billowing in the distance um, from, from when they had fallen. Captain Garrett was working as an actor in New York at the time of the attacks and knew people who were killed that day. You know, knowing someone, of course, makes it more personal, but at that time, it seemed like you knew everybody. And you hear their stories uh, about who had died, and, it, and you felt like you knew them. A solemn reminder of the tragedy that befell our nation, September 11th, 2001. Twelve years later, Captain Garrett and service members at Bagram Airfield gathered to pay tribute to those we've lost. Standing a few feet from Captain Garrett's office is another reminder of that fateful day 12 years ago, a steel beam from the World Trade Center. I can't believe it's been 12 years. Um, I remember it like it was yesterday. So to walk by every day and see that uh, piece of the World Trade Center, um, to me, it's, it tells me I'm, I'm where I'm supposed to be. Today he stands with his brothers and sisters in arms, honoring those who lost their lives on September 11th and those who have fought for freedom since then. Staff Sergeant John Archiquette, Bagram Airfield, Afghanistan.